Hello everyone. I don't really remember if I ever uh, showed on this channel this phone. This is the iPhone 4S. Yes, I do have uh, an iPhone and uh, this phone was something that I purchased uh, to just create and test an app. So one of my client asked me, Ravi, we need an app for Android and also for iOS. Oh, so I, of course, you know, built the app for Android. And uh, while I was doing my research for doing app development for uh, iPhone, I came to know that uh, you need uh, like a physical device. And uh, I'm not really sure if that is the case. He, even right now in 2023, I guess, I, I guess you always need to have like a physical device so that you can test it properly. But uh, but I think uh, back then it was, uh, I think, important because the simulator, I, I don't really remember, but I think it was 2011 or 2012 when I built that app. I think it has been a, it has been a while. I, I can't really remember. But this one is actually quite good. Now, I never really used uh, iPhone. In fact, this is the first iPhone that I purchased and ever since I have never really purchased uh, any iPhone. I have always used uh, Blackberries. I love Blackberries and that is why the name of the channel. I mean, this Blackberry uh, Passport is uh, amazing. I love this phone. I used it for many years and it still works kind of, but I don't use it anymore because uh, I guess nowadays you need to rely on Android. Mainly I, I use Android. I think I purchased Android uh, or I started using Android, I believe. Uh, I think it was 20, 2019-ish, I guess. But I realized that I need uh, an Android phone because uh, uh, number one, you need uh, Maps and uh, BlackBerry, although you can install Google Apps on this, but it was never really perfect. And also you need, uh, if you live here in the UK or I guess Europe or US or many countries, to be honest, I think you can make payments uh, using NFC and uh, that was something that I think is quite good because if you, if you have your phone with you, you can actually make a payment so you don't have to worry about carrying any cash or cards. But this iPhone is uh, quite good. I am not really planning to buy any iPhone but I thought okay, let me just show you this phone and I don't really use this phone. Uh, I mean, I never really used it but right now, I just keep one SIM in it because uh, like I have uh, some numbers that, uh, you know, I want to you know keep active. So I just, you know, have a SIM here. And if you look at the device, it is beautiful. I mean, uh, for a 12, 13 year old device, you can see the bezels, which is of course, you know, all metallic. And it's a, it's a solid phone. You can, uh, you know, uh, you can expect a good quality from, uh, from Apple, I guess, in terms of hardware. I'm not really sure, sure about the value for money. Of course, you know, whenever you purchase uh, Apple products, I do have like a MacBook Pro. I also have uh, iMac. But uh, personally, of course, I use, you know, I use uh, Linux. I use uh, ThinkPads. But this is, a, this is a really good device. I, I'm not really sure if you can install anything else on it. I guess I'll probably not install anything else. And by the way, I do have uh, this phone active, but at the same time, I don't really use it. Uh, I mean, it, even though there is a SIM, but uh, I keep it in black and white mode. I, I don't know why, but I, I like it in black and, black and white mode as well. And uh, good thing is that there is uh, this 3.5 mm output. So you can actually, you know, connect it with your amplifier and you can just, you know, listen to music. So it is actually, I, I think it can be a good option uh, to just, you know, listen to songs because you can. And the, the, the quality is good. The, the, the sound output is good. But yeah, apart from that, I think uh, it is just a phone which is in my drawer. 